Grassland covers more than 20% of the Earth's land surface. The grasslands of South America are called the Pampas and have hot summers and mild winters. The sweeping prairies of North America are home to an endless variety of plant and animal wildlife. The Eurasian steppe in Central Asia contains the most extensive area of grassland in the world. The Veld in Southern Africa is a large area of grassland located at high altitude. The East African savanna is warm all year round and is home to migrating herds of grazing animals. East African savanna. The East African savanna is a vast expanse of grassland with scattered shrubs and trees. It is home to massive herds of grazing animals that provide a rich source of food for predators such as lions and cheetahs. The savanna has a distinct wet and dry season, and in the dry season many animals migrate across the plains in search of food and water. Lapid-faced vulture. Secretary bird. African elephant. Feeding on leaves and vegetation, elephants use their trunks like humans use their hands. African elephants lose heat from their bodies by flapping their enormous ears. Their wrinkled skin, though over one inch thick, is very sensitive to sunlight and insect bites. Elephants spend much of their time feeding. When one source of food is exhausted, the herd moves on through the forest to forage elsewhere. Village Weaver. Lion. <laughs> Paperbark Thorn Giraffe Village Weaver Lapid Faced Vulture Jackson's Chameleon Baobab Warthog Ostrich
African buffalo. Nile crocodile. Thompson's gazelle. Spotted hyena. Black Rhinoceros Common Zebra Zebra fights are a familiar sight on the African savanna. Zebras live in families that consist of a male or stallion and his females or mares. Stallions without females may try to steal them from family stallions in order to mate with them. Fighting stallions bite the neck and legs of their rivals and also kick out at them with their hind legs. Hippopotamus. During the daylight hours, each male hippopotamus maintains and defends his territory in the water. By opening his mouth very wide and showing off his long canine teeth, or tusks, the male can intimidate a rival who intrudes into his territory. Intruders are threatened or attacked until they retreat. Olive Baboon Cheetah. Marabou stork. Eastern green mamba. Red billed oxpecker. Blue wildebeest. This termite's nest stands about eight feet above the ground. It is kept cool by air vents at the top and by cavities holding water deep beneath the main nest. The main nest is made up of several chambers linked by passages. There are special gardens in which fungus is cultivated on vegetation gathered from the savanna. There is the royal cell in which the king and queen produce thousands of eggs each day. There are also brood chambers in which the young hatch. Termite.
Tropical rainforests are by far the richest land habitat on Earth. The tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia have an extraordinary diversity of plant life and are home to some increasingly rare animals. The largest area of tropical rainforest in Africa is found in the region drained by the Congo River. The Central American rainforest lies on bird migration routes and has over 800 species of birds. The rainforests of the Venezuelan highlands are almost perpetually shrouded in mist. The Amazon basin of South America holds the world's largest tropical rainforest. Amazonian rainforest. Red howler monkey. The Amazonian rainforest is home to a greater variety of wildlife than anywhere else on Earth. The dense rainforest vegetation competes for light and organizes itself into distinct layers. Many animals, such as hummingbirds and parrots, live in the treetops, where there are plenty of leaves, flowers, and fruit to feed on. Others, such as the tapir, live on the forest floor and use their long noses and sharp digging claws to find food. Red Howler Monkey. Keel Build Toucan. Three-toed sloth. Scarlet macaw. Bromeliad plants grow high on the branches of trees. Their flowers are often pollinated by hummingbirds and by insects, such as butterflies. Spiders use the plant's leaves as a framework on which to spin their webs. Golden Orbweb Spider Sword-billed Hummingbird Small postman. Bromeliad. Yellow crowned Amazon. Hoatzin. Kapok tree.
strangler fig. Emerald tree boa. Brazilian tapir. White lipped peccary. Capybara Jaguar Philodendron Leaf cutter ant Common iguana The forest floor is covered with leaf litter here, parts of trees and other plant matter rot into the soil. The nutrients released by this process are absorbed rapidly by forest plants. Tiger centipede. Anaconda. Coral snake. Philodendron. Poison dart frog. Oceans and seas cover over 70% of the Earth's surface and form the largest habitat for living things on Earth. The remote Galapagos Islands have unusual plants and animals that have evolved in isolation from the rest of the world. In the Gulf of California, warm sheltered waters provide a home for sea lions and migrating whales. The coast of New Zealand has many offshore islands where animals once common on the mainland have found a last refuge. The deep fjords of the Norwegian coast provide an important spawning ground for fish. The Atlantic coast of Scotland teems with fish and other animals and has some of the largest seabird colonies in the world. North Atlantic Coast the rocky coasts of Scotland are home to some of the world's largest colonies of nesting seabirds. The rocks are exposed to gales and pounding waves, but many forms of life, from lichens to limpets, manage to thrive. Many different types of fish live off the coast. Some live just below the surface of the water, while others live near the bottom of the sea.
Atlantic Puffin. Ringed Plover. Great Cormorant. Northern Gannet. Gray Seal. Rock pools provide a safe environment for creatures such as crabs. Limpets and sea urchins move slowly over rocks, grazing on algae. Seaweed provides cover for creatures stranded by the retreat of the tide. Common Limpet Edible Sea Urchin Shore crab. Sea lettuce. Rockweed. Ringed plover. Portuguese man of war. Mackerel. Long-finned pilot whale. Cod. Lesser spotted dogfish. Bottlenose dolphin. Fewer animals live on the seabed than near the surface, and those that do are adapted to survive in colder, darker conditions. Conger eel. Anglerfish.
gulper eel. Scrub and bushland are found in regions of the tropics and subtropics where there is little rain and the summers are hot. The Ethiopian scrub in eastern Africa lies between savanna and dry desert areas and is warm all year round. The landscape of the Mediterranean coastline in southern Europe is dominated by shrubs and smaller plants and is rich in animal life. The arid northern Argentinian scrub in central South America consists mostly of dry shrub and thorny plants. The scrub of Southern California has mild and wet winters and a variety of shrub vegetation, including sages and small trees, such as the shrub oak. The Australian bush is probably the most extensive area of scrubland and is made up of tough grasses and eucalyptus trees. Australian bush. The Australian bush, also known as the outback, is a vast open grassland broken by a few rocky outcrops. Its vegetation consists of drought-resistant grasses and eucalyptus trees that grow along the banks of creeks. During the heat of the day, most animals seek shelter under rocks or in burrows, but in the early evening they come out to feed. Softer rock is gradually worn away by wind and rain, leaving outcrops of harder rock overlooking the flat bushlands. Crimson Winged Parrot Gala Emu Thorny Devil Short Nosed Echidna Wombat Checkered Swallowtail Carpet Python Gould's Monitor The soil of the bushland is dry and poor with sparse scrub vegetation. Rare downpours of rain cause seeds in the soil to sprout, producing a blanket of brightly colored flowers. Dingo Gould's Monitor
red kangaroo. Australian brown snake. Kookaburra. Kulaba. Frilled lizard. Koala. Budgerigar. Duck-billed platypus. This duck-billed platypus is hunting for insect larvae and other small animals on the bottom of the creek. It finds its food by probing with its beak and swims skillfully through the water using its webbed feet and flattened tail. Mountain ranges are found on all continents of the world and are home to an amazing variety of wildlife. The largest mountain system, the Himalayas in Asia, contain the world's highest peak, Mount Everest. The Alps stretch across southern central Europe and are made up of steep slopes and snow-capped peaks. In northwestern Africa, the Atlas Mountains form a barrier between the wetter, cooler areas along the coast and the Sahara. The Andes extend the whole length of South America and are the world's longest mountain range. In the Rocky Mountains in western North America, high peaks alternate with deep valleys carved out by glaciers. Rocky Mountains The Rocky Mountains, often called the Rockies, are rich in wildlife. On the lower slopes, Forests of pines and firs and grassy meadows are home to a wide variety of animals, such as grizzly bears, mountain lions, and pikas, relatives of the rabbit. High up in the mountains, the temperature is lower. Shore-footed bighorn sheep move easily over the rocky slopes, and golden eagles soar high overhead. Golden Eagle Subalpine Fur The upper slopes of the mountain are rugged and exposed. High winds and freezing temperatures produce cracks in the rock, causing boulders to break away from the rock face. Whitebark Pine Golden Eagle
bighorn sheep. In the spring, the water produced by melting snow pours down streams to the valleys below. The force of this flowing water wears away the softer rock and helps shape the landscape. Gray Wolf Moose. Grizzly bear. When they're active during the day, bears are constantly on the lookout for food. With their sensitive nostrils, they sniff the air for the smells of live prey, rotting carcasses, and other food sources. Bears are not afraid of wading in rivers or lakes to look for salmon or other fish. When they spot their prey, they dive into the water, grab the fish with their sharp claws, and then tear off its flesh with their teeth. Cougar. Mountain Bluebird. Common Raven. Mountain ferns and grasses provide shelter for insects such as the woodlouse. A tick clings to the end of a blade of long grass, waiting to attach itself to a passing mammal on whose blood it can feed. Many insects, such as butterflies, use the summer to find a mate. Woodlouse Oak fern Phoebus butterfly. Spotted fever tick. North American porcupine. Purple saxifrage. Oak fern.
Pika. Lakes and wetlands cover only about 3% of the Earth's surface, but are vital for life. Lake Baikal in Russia is the deepest lake in the world and is home to many plants and animals that are found nowhere else. In the Middle East lies the Dead Sea, which is salty and more hostile to living things. The Okavango Delta in southern Africa has an enormous range of animals and plants. In South America, Lake Titicaca is abundant in fish and plant life. In North America, the Great Lakes cover the largest area of fresh water in the world and form an important habitat for many forms of aquatic wildlife. North American Lake The lakes of the northeastern United States make up some of the richest freshwater habitats on Earth. In the shallow water at the edge of these lakes, reeds and other plants provide food and shelter for animals such as frogs, turtles, and nesting birds. Beavers cut branches from nearby trees to build their homes, and the lake waters are inhabited by a variety of fish, such as trout and pike. This tree may have been struck by lightning, blown over by the wind, or toppled by the action of the lake beavers gnawing away at its trunk. Fungi and other organisms will gradually decompose the tree, releasing nutrients that will help other lakeside plants grow. Great Blue Heron Conifer trees are able to withstand the cold, icy conditions of a long winter. Snow does not accumulate on these trees as they are tall and narrow with long, thin branches. Snowy Egret Common Galenu Eastern Newt Wood Turtle Fragrant water lily. Fragrant water lily. Great pond snail. Wood duck. Green frog.
Belted Kingfisher. Beavers use their sharp teeth to cut the branches and small tree trunks that they use to build their lodges. They then hollow out a living space within the dome-shaped structure. This is ventilated by an air hole in the top of the dome. The beavers enter and leave the lodge through underwater passages. American Beaver The bottom of a lake is covered with stones, rocks, and small boulders. This rocky landscape provides a habitat for many tiny water-living creatures. Some spend most of their time concealed under rocks, while others swim around the rocks in search of animals or plants to eat. Osprey Muscalunge. Lake Trout. Common loon. Three spine stickleback. Green darner. Common reed. Common duckweed. Woodland and forest once covered much of the world. Almost all of Canada's forests consist of conifers because only these trees are able to withstand the severe winters. The northern forests of Siberia in Russia are also dominated by conifers. In some parts of China, bamboo makes up a distinctive form of forest found on damp mountainsides. Mixed forests containing coniferous and broadleaf trees still cover much of Scandinavia. Deciduous trees are suited to the mild, damp climate of northwestern countries such as Great Britain. British Deciduous Woodland In Britain's deciduous woodlands, the changing seasons have a striking effect on trees and forest creatures. In the summer, the trees are in full leaf and a variety of birds and animals forage for food. In the winter, the trees have bare branches, nights are cold, and food becomes scarce. Many birds fly away to warmer climates, and animals spend more time in their burrows or tree holes.
Tawny Owl. Tawny owls are expert flyers and have excellent sight and hearing. They have a strong curved beak and large forward-pointing eyes that cannot move in their sockets. To see to the side, the owl must swivel its head, which it can almost turn full circle. Their wings are short and rounded so that they can fly between the branches of trees. They have fringed wings to muffle the sound of their flight and feathers on their feet and legs. English Oak Wood Pigeon Bluebell Stag Beetle Red Fox Dead trees are gradually broken down by bacteria, fungi, insects, and other animals, and valuable nutrients are released into the soil. Purple Emperor Chanterelle Common Dormouse Primrose The vegetation of the woodland floor is affected by how much light it receives. Where trees are close together and in full leaf, little grows beneath them. But where trees are more sparse, or before leaves have appeared in the spring, there is more vegetation on the woodland floor. Deep below the woodland floor, badgers spend the daytime in an elaborate burrow called a set. Each set has many yards of tunnels and several chambers including a special nursery chamber where young badgers are born. The entrance to a badger set is often concealed under the roots of a large tree. Eurasian Badger English Oak Fern 
fallow deer. Green woodpecker. European hedgehog. Bank vole. The vegetation of the woodland floor is affected by how much light it receives. Where trees are close together and in full leaf, little grows beneath them. But where trees are more sparse, or before leaves have appeared in the spring, there is more vegetation on the woodland floor. Nightingale. Weasel. Slow worm. Oak agar. Eurasian sparrow hawk. Common ash. Deserts are the driest areas on Earth, covering about a quarter of the world's land surface. The Great Sandy Desert stretches across a large part of northwestern Australia and is made up of mainly flat plains interrupted by dry salt lakes. The Gobi Desert in Central Asia is hot in summer, but the winters are bitterly cold. The largest desert in the world, the Sahara in northern Africa, has vast expanses of sand dunes broken up by rocky plains and mountain ranges. The Atacama Desert in South America is lucky to average an inch or two of rain annually. The deserts of the western United States are characterized by dramatic rocky canyons and prickly plants. North American Desert the North American desert is mostly barren and rocky. The hot days, cold nights, and lack of water make survival hard for wildlife. But a surprising number of plants and creatures have found a way of living here. During the day, most animals shelter from the heat of the sun. At dusk, when the temperature drops, some come out to hunt for food. Saguaro. Joshua tree.
Fantastic columns of rock such as these have been shaped over thousands of years. Sand carried by the wind and rain has worn away the softer rock, leaving only the hard rock behind. These rocks expand in the daytime heat and shrink in the nighttime cold, causing them to split. Gila Woodpecker Desert soil reflects much of the sun's heat, so a burrow stays cool even during the hottest part of the day. Kangaroo rats and small animals such as spiders will shelter from the heat of the day in a burrow and emerge to feed after the sun has set. Bobcat Desert Tortoise Western Diamondback The diamondback rattlesnake hunts small mammals and birds, killing them with a venom-injecting bite. It is characterized by its broad head and by the rattle on its tail. The rattle is made up of loose rings of hard skin that the snake shakes from side to side. This warns animals that might tread on it of its presence and is necessary because the snake is well camouflaged. Joshua Tree Collared Lizard Gila Monster Whip Scorpion Black Tailed Jackrabbit Coyote Greater Road Runner Turkey Vulture Western Spadefoot Toad Elf Owl
Desert Kangaroo Rat. Mexican Red Kneed Spider. Some predatory spiders, like this Mexican Red Kneed, prey on birds and small mammals. Even over rough terrain, they are quick and agile. Many spiders have poor eyesight, but they make up for this by sensing movements in the air with the hairs that cover their body. Special mouth parts, or pedipalps, detect vibrations in the ground. Coral reefs are home to an extraordinarily diverse range of marine animals. The Maldives coral reef fringes thousands of small coral islands that extend across the Indian Ocean. One of the longest reefs in the world is found in the Red Sea, which lies between Africa and Arabia. Many Caribbean islands are surrounded by reefs, but the richest and longest coral reef in the Atlantic Ocean is the barrier reef off Belize. Polynesia in the South and Central Pacific Ocean is dotted with clusters of reefs surrounding volcanic islands. The Great Barrier Reef stretches along the coast of northeastern Australia and is the world's largest coral reef and the biggest structure ever made by living things. Great Barrier Reef A huge range of animals depend upon the Great Barrier Reef for food and protection. By day, hundreds of different species of fish are active in and around the reef. At night, the corals feed on plankton, and crabs, mollusks, and many other creatures emerge from their daytime hiding places among the coral. This coral polyp has built a mineral cup to anchor it to the rest of the reef. When feeding, its stinging tentacles reach out to grab passing food. The polyp draws the food into its mouth and from there into its stomach to be digested. Connecting sheets attach the polyp to the rest of the coral colony. Staghorn coral. Great white shark. Lionfish. Porcupine fish. The porcupine fish has a box shaped body with spines that normally lie flat along the body. Using its fins and tail, it swims along the coral reef in search of morsels of food. If the porcupine fish is threatened, it puffs itself up with water. This has the effect of making it look much bigger and more threatening, and it makes the spines stick out, making it inedible. When danger passes, the porcupine fish returns to its normal size. Moray eel. Olive sea snake.
clown triggerfish. Blue ringed octopus. Brain coral. Crown of Thorns Starfish The seabed below the coral reef is covered with sand. This sand is formed by the action of the sea eroding parts of the reef. It is also produced by some animals breaking off pieces of the reef to feed on tiny animals called polyps. Wabagong Coral reefs are built up over many thousands of years. They are constructed by colonies of tiny animals called polyps that secrete a chalky skeleton around themselves as they feed and grow. As polyps die, new polyps take their place and build new skeletons on top of the old ones. Parrotfish. Stonefish. Giant clam. Clown anemone fish. Imperial angelfish. Sea cucumber. Painted rock lobster. Dusky sea slug. Red Hermit Crab Moorish Idol Painted Rock Lobster Ritter's sea anemone.
The polar regions are the coldest and windiest places on Earth. Antarctica, the region around the South Pole, is a vast ice-covered continent. The region around the North Pole, called the Arctic, is an expanse of frozen ocean. The areas of land on the fringes of the Arctic are tundra regions. Siberian tundra stretches across about one-third of the globe, and Canadian tundra covers thousands of square miles. North Pole and Canadian Tundra In northern Canada, bleak rocky tundra meets icy seawater to form one of the world's most challenging environments for wildlife. During the brief Arctic summer, the tundra is covered in small plants and is home to a variety of animals, such as foxes and reindeer. The Arctic Ocean is rich in fish that provide food for seabirds, whales, and other sea creatures. In winter, most land animals hibernate or move farther south. Arctic Tern Walrus Narwhal Killer Whale A school of killer whales swims near the surface of the ocean, hunting for seals, squid, or other prey. It's easy to spot these hunters by the appearance of their tall dorsal fins when they break the surface to breathe. Killer whales are commonly seen from the land because they prefer to hunt in shallower coastal waters. Polar bear. Polar bears are strong swimmers and dive in cold Arctic waters to catch seals, fish, and other prey. Young male polar bears play fight to practice the skills they will use when they get older. They bare their teeth to intimidate their opponent and use their strong forelimbs to wrestle each other to the ground. Your falcon. Common eider. Rock ptarmigan. Arctic hare.
muskox. Reindeer. Arctic Fox. Snow Goose. As the winter snow melts, Arctic poppies flower, bringing color to the tundra landscape. In early summer, adult mosquitoes hatch and the male mosquitoes feed on nectar. Shrubs and flowers produce pollen, which is often carried to other plants by insects. Some plants start to produce berries and fruits as the summer progresses. Bog bilberry. Arctic poppy. Mosquito. Dwarf willow. Common cotton grass. Snowy owl.